Two administrators in the Crestwood School District have been put on paid administrative leave. That move comes as the district tries to deal with a bus transportation safety issue. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live from our control center with continuing coverage of this fast developing story. Cody? Nick and Candace, good evening. Those on leave include the superintendent and the chief of district operations. The fallout comes after school bus drivers failed to have the required background checks to transport students. Crestwood Superintendent Joseph Gorham and Chief of District Operations Christopher Gregaris are placed on paid administrative leave. Gorham confirmed the move with Eyewitness News late Tuesday afternoon, shortly after the district made its decision. Until we find out who um, and how uh, the ball was dropped, um, you know, and I guess it's a good decision. Parents like Kathy Richards are upset at what's unfolding within the district. A week ago, an Auditor General report found bus drivers with Reinheimer bus lines of Wapwallapin, who service Crestwood, were not safety certified. Most of the deficiencies centered around background checks. Officials shut down school for two full days, adding a two hour delay last Friday. Teachers were instructed to accompany drivers who were not certified to monitor students. To find Find out that bus drivers who every day take care of our children, it was quite shocking. The administrative action coincides with an internal investigation. If they are found that they knew about this beforehand, then they should have their jobs taken away and someone else should that will be on it should take care of it. Onita Bonar looks back at the past 40 days of the school year and says her child's life could have been in danger. I was worried about my child. Uh, getting to school and what was going on with it. I really didn't want him coming to school. By the start of bus transportation yesterday, the Crestwood School District say they had all certificate certificates for all bus drivers that pick up and drop off students. The assistant superintendent tells me the district is back to its normal operations. In the control center, Cody Butler, Eminence News. All right, Cody, thanks for the follow up there. So far, officials have not said who will run the day to day district operations while the superintendent is on leave. The district solicitor would not comment, saying it's a personnel issue.